Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great. And for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, we're going to be covering the new Max Raid event update for March. So without further ado, let's get into it. As always, if we head over to our trusty source at Cerebi, we can take a look at what we've got in the dens this month. So you can see the event itself is running from the 1st of March today of recording this video to the 31st of March. So we've got the entire month to take part in this event. I'm sure there'll be other events events throughout this month like they do over weekends we'll cover those as and when they do drop so keep an eye out on the channel so pokemon sword uh we'll cover first we've got the one star raids you're starting off with hatena ralts coughing rookie rufflet and cramorant so no special items here just your one stars and then we come down to a two star raids uh obviously the two star and one star and three star i repeat this over but we have a lot of new players coming into the the game at the minute if you've got lower amounts of gym badges uh you're going to get the last star raid if you've got all the gym badges you're going to be able to access the four and five star raids so we're just covering that to make sure you are aware so you can still take part in this event if you have not complete all your gym badges yet but you won't be able to access some of the higher rated star raids so uh they're going into the two star raids like i say and we get hatram curlier coughing cover squire rufflet and cramorant so you can see the the evolution lines continuing and then on to the three star raids now this is where it gets a little bit interesting for this den in particular you've got hatram god of war wheezing covenite bravery and cramorant for the most part you've got the final evolutions of these pokemon in the three star raids but an exception of hatram which transfers from the two star raids but if you get it in a three star raid it's actually going to be a gigantamax it'll have the gigantamax symbol obviously hatram doesn't have a gigantamax form but you will have that symbol with the hatram and from what i've heard and read it appears as though it could be a little bit of a glitch for this den the binary code is just being put in wrong and it should be a hatterene where it's a hatram so this is a really unique event going on right now where you might be able to the only time we might be able to get a gigantamax hatram so a few collectors out there this might be a good one to take advantage of early on in the den because it might get fixed later on in the month we don't know but at the moment you can get yourself a three star hatram which is very cool um, and then we move on to the four star raids which is hatterene g max god of war wheezing g max Corviknight, uh bravery and cramorant and then the five star raids which are again just exactly the same as uh, as before five star raids hatterene g max god of war wheezing Corviknight, bravery and cramorant and there's no real special items here you're just getting a bunch of stuff that's always useful uh with the raids and then we move on to pokemon shield which is i would say exactly the same as pokemon sword so you're still going to have that chance on the three star raids for that kind of maybe glitch hatrem uh, maybe not maybe purposely put there but everything is the same over both variants of the game either if you've got a copy of sword or you've got a copy of shield so Again, just to reiterate, the event is running from the 1st of March today of recording this to the 31st of March. And uh, let's jump into game now and see how we get our hands on this March event. So in game, what you want to be doing is, first of all, getting a red beam, drop a wishing piece into any den and um, it will be uh pokemon not relevant not normally found in that den basically what you want to do uh and come over to your mystery gifts you want to get the wild area update you can do this first before actually hunting you just want to make sure that you're updating the dens in the wild area this is just a way for it to connect to the internet just take a minute and then the wild up wild area news update will kick in and the dens will be reverted to the new events so you can click in you can see here we've got a g max Corviknight. so there we go uh the date skip glitch as always if you want to cycle through to get the hatterem the three star hatterem just hit that invite others just we go going around this barbecue been around it before make sure you're offline when you're doing this uh but for the newer players come down to system and then system settings date and time just make sure your clock is off synchronized there'll be a little off behind where i am right now on on your switch knock the date forward one come out go back into the game quit out of the den as always it's as simple as that and uh, you're going to be able to come back into the den again get your 2000 watts and the pokemon will have changed 
you just repeat this over and over until you get that three star Hatterem or whichever Pokemon in this den this month that you are hunting. Uh, just to reiterate as well that the event dens will only be a red beam. They'll not be those rarer purple beams. So just make sure you're keeping an eye out for those. And we'll be right back when we get that three star Hatterem. Okay, that didn't take long for me to actually get it. So we've got the three star Hatterem now. What you can do is just to be safe as well if you don't want to uh, chance it. Just save in front of the den before you go in uh, and then it, if you if you don't catch it then it gives you the opportunity to come back reset your game go back in and try it again so um if it does escape from the pokeball which would be the worst case scenario if you are hunting this so here we go there is the hat what are we gonna go for oh a dream ball a dream ball do i waste my dream ball no nah, we're not gonna waste the dream ball we'll give it one of my uh Get it in, get it in, we'll risk a dive ball. Uh, my my all-time favorite ball. A dream ball would have been good, but I need to keep that for something really special, you know? Dream balls are super rare, so um, if I can just keep a hold of it, that will uh, be way better. I don't normally catch these Pokemon on here. I normally just say that you can get it, and here it is, and then we cut off, but we're gonna catch it today. We're gonna see that it's got that Gigantamax symbol, and prove that it's a bit of an anomaly. Like I said, not no real mad items that you're gonna get which is a bit of a shame i always feel like that's something that they could really take advantage of you know uh, just special items every month that would just add a little another layer to these um events but uh, maybe it's something we see in future maybe not okay check summary hatch rem and there you go it's got the g max symbol so right there so there you go you see you can grab it right now i would make sure you can it's got its hidden ability as well which is really nice um obviously if i want it uh, level it up by one and it'll go to a Hatterene. It'll have its hidden ability and be Gigantamax, which is always very useful. Okay, friends, well, we're going to wrap it up there. So thank you so much as always for tuning in today. I hope you found this useful. Good luck hunting this Hatterem and the other Pokemon available this month. The G-Max Hatterene and the G-Max Corviknight are very good Pokemon. So it'd be a good chance if you haven't got them to grab them now while you've got the chance to. And yeah, if we get any further updates throughout this month, make sure you be sure that I will be covering it. So we'll probably get shiny events and things like that but uh, we'll wrap it up there have a great rest of your day whatever you're up to thanks for tuning in as always and i'll see you all for the next one so until then take care bye bye